Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Arithmetic Operators, and in this video we're going to be exploring a new type of PHP operator, which basically deals with math. So let's jump right in. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 16 arithmetic operators. In your code editor, make sure to open your final and practice.php files in the 16 arithmetic operators folder. Practice.php is the sandbox skeleton we're going to be using to code what is in the final.php file that I've also provided. Final.php looks a little bit like this. We have a series of titles, uh, the types of arithmetic operators, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. And then under there we have some text that we're using that specific arithmetic operator to achieve. So let's jump into the lecture. Arithmetic operators. This is where we start getting into some math. It's very basic, but incredibly useful. So check out this table provided by php.net. Like usual, we have the example name and result. The first line we have variable A plus variable B. This is addition, so the result is the sum of A and B. We basically will know how to do all of these because it's just pretty straightforward math. So first one is addition. Second one is subtraction. So the difference of A and B, A minus B. Third one is multiplication, the product of A and B, A times B. Fourth, division, the quotient of A and B. So A divided by B. And the last one is something that many of you may not have heard before. I know I didn't when I started learning some arithmetic operators, modulus. So it is the remainder of A divided by B. So A modulus B. So the modulus operator is usually a pretty confusing concept at first, but mathform.org provides a pretty good explanation right here. The mod or modulus operator in computer languages is simply the remainder. For example, 17 modulus 3 equals 2 because 17 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So the remainder is 2, which in turn means 17 equals 3 times 5 plus 2. So hopefully that makes sense. Here's an example of how you would use one of the above arithmetic operators. So we have a PHP script, birth year, and this year in variables. So we have birth year, I put 1988, and this year. So I'm using the PHP date method with the year. So my age equals, in brackets, this year, so it's getting the current year, minus 1988. So my age will have this year minus 1988, and then I echo my age. And that will echo the person's age whose birth year is 1988. So let's jump right into our code editor to start doing some math. Let's start out doing the usual. Add your constants and your variables. The, the constant title is arithmetic operators. And in this one, we're going to just add the usual custom variables, which is my name and lesson number. Add the title right here. And also add that to the small tag within the H1 tag. The lesson number, or the tutorial number, is php echo lesson num. And then at the bottom we have our current year, php echo date year, and name, php echo my name, good to go. All right, let's get into our sandbox. This is where the fun happens. So, First one, we have addition. Remove the your code here PHP comment, and let's add some variables within this PHP script. So let's start with A. A equals seven. Let's add B and say B equals 19. And C is equal to, in brackets, A plus, whoops, A plus B. So C will, the C variable will include uh, this addition, A plus B. And let's echo the result. Echo A plus B is equal to C. Very simple. Let's check it out. 
All right, so your example, seven plus 19 is equal to 26. That is correct. Thank you, PHP. All right, down to subtraction. Let's add three more variables. We're gonna use A equals seven, B equals 19, and C is equal to A minus B. Now keep in mind, you can change these variables. I'm just recycling A, B, and C, and just putting the same numbers in this case, but you can change these to experiment with different math. So echo, A minus B is equal to C. Check that out. Seven minus 19 is equal to negative 12. All right, multiplication. A equals seven, B equals 19, and C is equal to A multiplied by B. And then we're gonna echo the result by saying A, and then I'm gonna say times using the HTML special character, whoops, ampersand, A times B is equal to C. Let's check it out. Seven times 19 is equal to 133. All right, division. We have our A variable, seven, B, 19, and C, A divided by B. Check it out. Oh, whoops, you can't check it out yet. You need to echo. A divided by B is equal to C. Check it out. Seven divided by 19 is equal to 0 0.36842105263.2. Cool. And last but not least, and most confusing, modulus. So we have A is equal to seven, B is equal to 19, and C is equal to uh, A modulus B. And then we're gonna echo the result. A modulus B is equal to C. Check it out. Seven modulus 19 is equal to seven. Cool. So feel free to go through and just play with the different types of arithmetic operators in the sandbox and just see what kind of results you can get. You can do a whole bunch of math. You can add different types of operators in one. So you can do this and then you could say divided by B modulus C or A, whatever, and uh, just experiment. This can do basically any type of math and uh, it's really useful when you're coding your dynamic websites. And so hopefully this lecture was useful to you. Play around in the sandbox and I'll see you in the next lecture.